It is April 2, 2024, Tuesday afternoon, and you are listening to the Khan Baba. Welcome everybody. Wherever you're tuned in from and we love you and we're glad you're here. Let start today information. Zimbabwe, the poster child of hyperinflation, is allowing a free fall in its currency that it's no longer keen to defend and is instead working on a new exchange rate potentially backed by gold. The country's local dollar has weakened against the US dollar every day in 2024, sending the price of a single loaf of bread from Z6105 dollars to Z19357 dollars in a mere 11 weeks. Such a loss of purchasing power has historically pushed the central bank to intervene and arrest the slide, but this time, there has been no the price of a single action. They've left the exchange rate to go said Tony Hawkins, an economist and former professor at the University of Zimbabwe. I had never thought that the rate would be allowed to go like this. It means they are thinking of a new currency. This is Zimbabwe's sixth attempt to have a functional local currency since 2008 when inflation crossing 231 million percent left it worthless. Despite previous Failures due to lack of public confidence the oxygen of any fiat currency, President Emerson. Manangagwa announced this February his government will introduce a structured currency. Then, Finance Minister Mthuli Ncube said it may be backed by gold and the central bank postponed its monetary policy statement to give final touches to the plan. The indefinite postponement of the Monetary policy statement has triggered anxiety among investors, leading to speculation about whether policymakers are in agreement over how to roll out the proposed change, according to the country's largest independent asset manager, Amara Asset Management, which oversees over $100 million. Neither the minister nor the central bank has come out with a clear and rationale reason around the delays, said Shelton Sabanda. Chief Investment Officer at the Harare-based brokerage. The lack of clarity has resulted in a wait-and-see attitude, which is not good for planning purposes. If you are not sure how the proposed changes will impact your business, you adopt a cautious approach, Sabanda said. When Zimbabwe makes the switch, it will be the only country in the world with the gold standard. There are currently no nations that back their currencies with gold or any other precious metal said Peter C. Earl, a senior economist with the American Institute for Economic Research. There have been political overtures in the past to create some form of commodity standard, but the siren call of money printing always gets the upper hand. This is time reform the Zimbabwe currency, let's see and prayer for Zimbabwe dollar. God bless you and take care.